Hold up, bro. Who they think I'm is? Leaving me wide open. Big green. Guard up, sir. Chilling in the corner like a prostitute. Stop playing with me. That's a bug needed. It ain't green, but it's green. Guard up. Okay, bro. At this point, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's really just disrespectful, sir. Guard up. We all know that we don't want to grind our badges, so hit up Legend Services. They're easy, fast, legit. Let them know that Premium sent you, man. Get your badges grinded, and let's get into this video. Oh, say less. Ladies and gentlemen, I have finally found it. Now, my window was open, so if you hear the trees beating the shit out of each other, bruh, it's because it's windy out here in Cali. What the fuck is going on? 2020, get out of my ear. Now, since 2K21 has dropped, I know that a lot of people have been struggling with shooting, including myself, bruh. I'm, I'm not a perfect shooter, but I know that you might see all these people on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, by the way, you know what I'm saying? Premium vibes. Everybody out here just, you know, posting their shit and shit, talking about shooting is easy, seven for seven. Motherfucker, you know that you went three for 20 before that game fuck out of here i think that 2k might have took our cries a little bit too seriously when we said that we ain't won 70s hitting greens now it's just you gotta be an 85 3 and up or 93 and up bro. i made a sharp facilitator now i got a 95 three-pointer i don't miss at all like but if you struggling with shooting make a better shooting build not gonna cap just make a sharp facilitator if you look if that's all you want to do is shoot i figured out that motherfucker i'm gonna be a spot up this year but i know that i told y'all i'm gonna be an iso god but nah, but this year I gotta be a spot up. I'm sorry. Um, if you enjoy seeing motherfuckers spot up and shoot though, you know what I'm saying? I'm the perfect guy for you. Make sure to like up and sub up, go crazy. But yeah, if 2K actually sticks to what they said and you know what I'm saying, never change shooting, then damn, bro, this game is finna be fucking boring for the people that don't get the PS5. Hopefully, I'm able to get it because that motherfucker finna sell out in probably like three minutes, not even gonna cap, maybe even 30 seconds. But yeah, hopefully, I get it. But, but. For the people that's still on this console, I got the perfect jump shot for you, bro. Now, you can't expect to just make it every single game. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're going to miss, and that's all right, though. Because you know what? This is 2K21, and a miss doesn't even matter on this game. People don't get mad at you for missing anymore, and it's just great. You know, you can miss freely, be trash freely. And I know how some of y'all feel. I sold the game for my teammates, bro. Like, goddamn, that feeling feels terrible. Like, when you just can't hit a fucking shot, but you have an 83 three pointer 2K, I had an 83 3. Those games still haunt me to this day, man. Gold catch and shoot and Hall of Fame range extender don't matter no more. Like, what is what is this? The most, if you had them badges last year with quick draw, you could make every single shot, but I did it on my two. Okay, this is New Year. This is New Year. We got to stop getting stuck in the past. New Year, you got to have a 93 pointer and up. I made a sharp finna be a spot up, sitting in the corner, chilling in the corner like a prostitute. This some bullshit, man. This game is fucking trash, all right? This finna turn into a 2K rant, not gonna cap, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm, I'm still show y'all the jump shot because the jump shot. Okay, secrets to shooting. I got y'all tips to shooting, even though I sold the, team, sold the game for my teammates multiple times. I don't give a fuck. I'm still giving out tips. Tips for shooting. If you want to become a better shooter on NBA 2K20, stay close to the line. Because range extender rarely works unless you got other badges that go with it, like Hot Zone Hunter, Green Machine, all that stuff. And Green Machine got to be active, so then that means you got to hit your first couple greens. But yeah, stay close to the line. Make sure that your feet is set unless you a play shot and you could just do that shit like however you want to do that shit. On my sharp, I could do that shit however I want to do that shit because it's a sharp 95 three-pointer. I can make moving greens with my sharp. That shit is just beautiful. Make sure to grind out all your badges. It was possible in the beginning of the year when everybody was still trash. Like, it's still the beginning of the year, but, like, most people is good at park now. Most people all-stars, superstar twos and shit. Fucking no life. So, Jesus Christ. That was supposed to be me. I was supposed to be no laughing, but I don't got a permanent team. Get a permanent team, bruh. That's my mistake, even though we only, like, what, four days in? That's my biggest mistake, probably. Not getting a permanent team. Now I don't got nobody to play with and shit. And I got to make videos like this where I'm just talking over old gameplay. Speaking of old gameplay, bruh, I had way better clips from this day. Like, bruh, I could have gave y'all, uh, like, more than this. Like, it was multiple perfect shots and shit. I was going four for four, three for three. I even had a game where I went like six for six, I think, maybe. All right, nah, maybe I'm just reaching a little bit. I do that a lot. I tend to do that a lot if you're new to this channel. In this clip right here, though, me and Dribbles is a prime example of why you should grind out your badges, though, because we have the same exact build. This is me on my play shot right now. We got the same exact build. He's a play shot, I'm a play shot, and he shoots way better than me on this play shot because 
he has all of his badges maxed out and it's crazy how much of a difference it makes you know a lot of us was complaining about shooting when we ain't has no badges at all let's be honest i was i was on twitter talking my shit though <laughs> i was on twitter talking my shit all the cop players over here talking about skill gap shut the fuck up bitch see yeah i was on twitter talking my shit but um, this gameplay right here, this is like what I mean by you're not going to shoot perfect every single game. Last game, I went, I think, three for three. And in this game, y'all going to see what happened. But um, we was going up against some tall ass dudes. Like, they was getting every single board, fucking giants. If you are looking to make a guard build this early on, just make sure to put on that 85 ball handling. But I got an 83 ball handle. I can't dribble at all. Like, why does it make such a difference? It's crazy, though. But yeah, make sure to put on that 85 because, yeah, anything less than that shit, your ass going to be a spot up just like I am where you're be catching hoops like my ass rep grinding early and you know it hurts man it hurts being a six eight play shot spot up no i'm six six i'm six six i'm six six that was probably my mistake right there it hurts being a six six play shot you know having to be a spot up it fucking sucks and i'm pro too and i got the game the first day that they came out i'm supposed to be at least an all-star right now holy shit i suck <sighs> He almost made that shit. That shit would have been nice. Chase down block. Call me look. Never mind. Never mind. I forgot that reach and stops you. Yeah. Realistic. Honestly, if 2K was going to change something, it shouldn't have been making you miss wide open open shots. Like, come on, bro. Like, wide open shots. Like, I will be standing there at the three-point line wide open, and then these motherfuckers out here making me miss. Meanwhile, people over here hitting contested fades and shit. 2K, what? I don't know, bro. Maybe it's just me. Voice cracks popping out and shit. This game really gets into my skin. Like, this like, one of the first 2K games. I remember 2K20, even though it's the same exact park and shit. I was happy just to play that shit. I was on that motherfucker for, like, the whole first month, I think. And then 2K19, I was on that for the whole first month. 2K20, I haven't played it that much. I missed two days already. Like, two full days of grinding. I missed out on it. Shouts out to y'all. I wasn't going to do the race on y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not take K or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Do the dash. And oh, I forgot the lyrics. I ain't going to cap. That song is like 10 years old. That's how it actually is, though. But this game really makes people just want to stop playing the fucking game. Like, not even going to cap to you. Nobody can shoot consistently. Like, dribbles, he goes crazy. But he's not going to go 7 for 7 every game. He's going to have this strand of games where he goes 7 for 7, not going to cap. But he's not going 7 for 7 every game. Same with me. Same with your favorite YouTuber. If that is me, then your favorite YouTuber fucking sucks. <laughs> no, nah, I'm playing. But, man, this game makes you genuinely feel like you're just the worst 2K player of all time. Like, it makes you feel like you just can't do shit on this game. Go to the rec center. Bro, the rec. Is the rec lagging for y'all too, bro? Because the rec be lagging like a hell for me, bro. What, what did I just. What, what, I don't know what I just said, bro. I don't know. We just gonna act like I spoke English. Luckily, though, it's easier to get your badges now that they done dropped the hot fix for my career. My career, it was impossible to get your badges in the beginning of the year. Like the first two days, it was impossible. But they dropped that hot fix for us. Shout out to 2K. Y'all could have did it for the park too, but you know. You know, you know, we'll take whatever we could get. They patched post scores, I believe. I ain't been to the 1v1 court yet, so they might not have passed them, and I might just be capping right now. But it seemed like they passed post scores. But yeah, besides that, besides the shooting in the park, everything is good. A lot of people complaining about how long the park is and shit. Um, yeah, you know, I, I guess you could complain about that. I think maybe. Um, uh, same park two years in a row, but you know. I guess, you know, if you don't like the, how long the park is, I, you know, you know, you know, I don't, I don't really got much to say about that topic. I like the way that they look. Park is beautiful to me, except for some of these scores. I heard that it's a laggy court already and shit, like how it was on 20 with the random score, how that shit was. But anyways, I'm just talking right now. Let me show y'all boys this jump shot. It is my same jumper from 2K20. Jump shot 38, Larry Bird, Larry Bird. Apparently, some of y'all don't understand that it doesn't matter what the blending is, bruh. It's the same exact release, but blending zero, release speed 100. You put the release speed on 75 too. I feel like that's where we all mess up. We try to make it go too fast, but yeah, man. That's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment. Comment down below your shooting percentage, actually. I want to see everybody shooting percent. If it's not 17 and below, you're capping. I don't care. All right, but I'm about this thing, though, man. Peace.